Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. Tucked Away Memorial Park in downtown Natchez is a small monument to John Joseph Lambert, a member of the Adams Light Guard, Company I of the 16th Mississippi Infantry. In 1858, Governor McWillie called for the state to arm itself, and the Adams Light Guard was one of four companies that qualified for service. On this day, May 25th in 1861, two companies of the Adams Light Guard were mustered into Confederate service as Companies I and D of the 16th Regiment. In her diary, Annie Colson noted that the whole town turned out one lovely Sabbath afternoon to watch the Adams Light Guard, some 200 strong, march down to the riverside to take the boat, which bore most of them away forever. The companies were encamped three months at Corinth before being called into the Confederate service. The Adams Light Guard participated in some of the fiercest fighting of the Civil War, seeing action at Cold Harbor, Malvern Hill, Sharpsburg, Fredericksburg, the Wilderness, Spotsylvania, and Gettysburg. In April of 1865, the 16th Infantry was put into action at Fort Gregg in a desperate attempt to hold Lee's supply lines. Federal troops assailed the redoubt. The fighting was hand-to-hand, -hand, some of the most desperate of the entire war. According to Rowland and Howe's Military History of Mississippi, the heroism of the actual combatants, both assailants and the assailed, are deserving of a high place in America's record of heroic deeds. Fort Gregg is often referred to as the Confederate Alamo. John Joseph Lambert survived the horrors of Fort Gregg and returned to Natchez, where he lived a long life, dying in 1935 at the age of 92. I'm Ed Bond, Professor of History at Alabama A&M University in Huntsville, Alabama, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.